So based on a couple of videos that I saw on the internet regarding uh, thermal pads and the Western Digital or just any M.2 drive having um, their stickers act as heat sinks, I don't know. Uh, my brother has a drive like this. This is a Western Digital SN850. We burnt the sticker because I was just like, hey, let's do an experiment. Let's put some thermal paste. I got some Nakua here, some of the NTH1. And we decided we're gonna rip off our stickers. We're gonna put the Nakua paste. I got one of these MHQ JRH M.2 heat sinks here. They're pretty awesome. They come with uh, quite a few features. The actual heat sink, uh, three thermal pads, the screws. Um, as you can see here, let me try to focus there. But I'm not using any pads except for on the bottom. So I can show you that. You probably, yeah, you can kind of see the pad right there. So I'm putting the pad on the bottom because it's kind of like protection against the actual aluminum frame for the drive on the bottom, but also acts as, you know, the, you know what was it intended for, heat sink, because you're supposed to install the thermal pad on the bottom and the top. But I'm just going with straight thermal paste, like what's on your CPU. There's a video from Jay's Two Cents, I'll try to put the video on, where they use thermal pads on CPU and there's also lots of videos about thermal pads on video cards and i don't know to me they just don't seem to move heat away and when i looked at how well this this mq jrh was machined i was like it's machined so well that you could probably just strip off the sticker it's supposed to be the heat sink and just drop this right on top. And it and I had to take it apart because I didn't have it properly aligned to screw in. But now that I've taken it apart, it even shows me even more that every single contact spot from the, you know, the RAM, the controller, everything that I put the thermal pad, I mean, the thermal paste on, is pretty much spot on and spread out perfectly. I just put a small bead and look how it spread out. So I'll give you the thermals in a few. Thanks for watching. And yeah, so I don't, and yeah, so I don't void the warranty on the actual <laughs> drive. I took off, when, when I told you guys I took off the sticker, I took off the sticker and just put it in the back just so that you just remember what you have. You know what I'm saying? But it's adjusted. You can see the thermal pad a little bit on the bottom. That's the only place I have the thermal pad. The rest of it is just Noctua um, thermal paste. And this thing fits so tight. I'm not sure if you can see it. But there is no spacing. Spacing on in that in the edge there, that's because there are no chips or chiplets but it sits right on top flush. Of course, I sque squeezed it down. And again, I just put the sticker on the outside so I can remember which drive this was. But I'm expecting, based on taking it apart when I had to move it around just because of that screw right here, just how I saw that it was seated, I can already tell that it's probably gonna give me 10 or 15 Celsius drop because it was sitting so flush. This actual heat sink was right against all of the chiplets. Spread out the thermal paste. I only put a little bead and it just spread it all out just perfectly on the chips, just like what you would expect on a CPU. All right, thanks.